previously. Ted, it's him. He's here. Ted, Ted. And so we go. Hello, friends, my name is and welcome back to Bear With Me. Um, as you probably already know from my last couple of videos, I am sick. But in case you haven't seen them, I'm telling you again, I am sick. So I'm very sorry that my voice sounds weird. Uh, we are looking at it for an entrance. Ah, come on. We are looking for an entrance into Tigrid's Lair, which I assume is going to be right here. So let's start with... I am not thing. touching that. End of discussion. <coughs> uh, Ted? Let's check out that creepy altar. Okay. It has funny signs on it, Ted. How do you think it works? I don't, because it doesn't. <laughs> uh-huh. Couldn't be clearer. Okay. This has to be water. It's just a bunch of squiggly lines on a plate. I think this stands for Earth. Earth, sure. Fire, maybe? <coughs> like it matters. I bet this is air. As I live and breathe. Aw, oh, it's a heart. A broken one. Frowny face. Let's not turn this into a high school drama. Okay. Uh, Why did I not here. think of that sooner? A piece of lumber will crack this case. Brilliant. Don't be rude. Grab it. Oh, it's chalk. It's advisable to carry a piece of chalk with you at all times. Strange wall thieves. Can't tell if these are teeth or ribs. <laughs> Either way, that has no place on a wall. Indeed. Can I not look at the broken wood? Okay. Let's look at the ritual note. I bet it's a recipe. You goofball. To freaking grab it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. What does it say? Back in 20? No, it's really ambiguous. Wow. That's a big word for a 10-year-old. I read at the 8th grade level, mind you. Okay, so now what? I don't know. I'll take this note with me and we can come back later. Maybe we can find out something more about all of this in the meantime. Sure. Can we go and see about the steel mill now? <laughs> okay, fine. Let's do what you want to do, like always. Okay, thank you. Ugh. Can I look at other stuff first? Is that it? Seems like no one cleans windows in Paper City anymore. But then again, what's the point, really? Fair enough. Seems like no one... Okay, okay. We are not going to look for lamps again if that's what you're going for. Alright. Looks like a garage door. Probably is one. Uh... We are not... Okay. Can't tell if these... Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. So I have a piece of chalk. <laughs> Alright, back to Paper City then, I guess. Can I look at the note? To a traveler, drown me in water, touch me with fire, bring me to the mountains and the skies above, and for the last of these things you, that you have to bring is a sign of ill-fated and forever lost love. Only then may you enter the goddess's lair. Only then can you witness her everlasting glare. She can teach you all about the fickleness of life that starts at the embrace and ends with a knife. Okay, to the steel mill then. <coughs> Wait, why can I go to the mayor's mansion? It's locked from the other side. I always hated that line. <laughs> this way? <coughs> I'll go that way. I'll, I'll touch the intercom in a second. What the fuck? What the? Maybe we should just... <laughs> yeah, let's go back. Alright. Well. I'm in mood for some cheeseburgers, to be honest. But ask for no pickles. It's not a drive through Ted. Well, not with that attitude. Wow, the mayor really spared no expense. Yeah. He spent the taxpayer's expense. Okay. The moon is so beautiful tonight. Uh, 50 times too big. 
Can I look at anything else before I talk to the other call? Um, nope. <coughs> okay. Time it is. What is that Who's picture? There? Late night pizza delivery. Enjoy the bite out of our midnight special. Late night pizza? What nonsense is this? We would appreciate it if you didn't bash on our business model, sir. Be gone, you kids. <laughs> That's rude. Some people. <laughs> it's the National <laughs> Security Committee. We need to talk to the mayor. It's urgent. And what is this all about? We need him to save the president's life, man. Hmm. And who is our president? God damn it. <laughs> okay. Who is our president? Howard? No, no. His mandate ended last year. No. You're thinking of Mitchell. Am I? Was he the one with the dress? All right. Whatever. Will you let us in? God damn it. Be gone, you kids. Hello there, fellow corrupt official. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, the Almighty Buck? Absolutely not. Didn't think so. It's the overpriced mansion inspection. Can we come in? Your colleague was here just this morning. Wait, really? Yes. Now leave me alone. It's the middle of the night. Well, I'm stumped. I bet he'll let us in if we give him some new evidence about his mill. All right, fine. Back to the steel mill then. It was worth a shot. <coughs> hey, what are you doing here, Brian? What? I'm not Brian. I'm Stevie. No, you're not. You're Brian Burke. Miss, <laughs> my name is Stevie Walker. I know Brian Burke. We work together, and we look nothing alike. Are you kidding? You're identical. Is that mustache real? Of course it is! Why? Does Brian have a fake mustache? No, no, he has a real mustache, and it's better than yours. <laughs> he wishes. Wait, <laughs> so am I supposed to play along and pretend you're not really Mike? Who's Mike? Ugh, he means Brian. I'm not Brian! Uh, We're totally uh, different! He's a whiny, flat-faced nerd, and I'm the devil make hair dangerous and super handsome type. Just look at my mustache! Look at it! They're kind of sleazy. Are you also the sleazy type? Is there something I can help you with? This here is a crime scene, so, you know, carry on. Can we have a look-see inside? Absolutely not. <laughs> Doll, I got this. I know how these things go down. So, Sammy. Stevie. Is there something we can get you to make your shift here a bit more comfortable? Are you suggesting a bribe? Because that might be a federal offense. Might be. You're not sure. I am not, actually. I mean, it's a type of offense for sure. Listen, I know how much you guys make. It's not a lot. What do you say? We give you a little something-something, and you let us snoop around for, like, a minute. Hmm, I don't know. Come on, man. I thought we were dealing with the devil-may-care dangerous guy here. <sighs> Guess I was wrong. Whoa, whoa, you are. I mean, I am dangerous and handsome. So handsome. I mean, I'm getting dizzy over here, Ted. He's getting dizzy over there, Stan. Okay, fine. What do you have? What? Isn't that how these things go down? You have to give me something that's like the definition of a bribe. <sighs> I haven't thought this through, to be honest. Well, we don't have any money. What? You're terrible at this. Away with you both. Come back when you can actually follow up on your offer. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna take this pipe. It's a pipe, obviously. Hey, don't touch that. That's evidence. What about this? Ashes and rust. Sounds like Hemingway's book title. <clears throat> Looks like this could move the crane. Crane? Hey, don't touch that. That's evidence. All right, all right. Wow, someone really did a number on this place. I take it you won't let me go in either. Hey, where do you think you're going? Where's this the shot? A crime scene. It was worth a shot. Uh. Do you want a feather? 
You look like a kind of man who appreciates a good feather. Well, look no further, friend. Here it is. What am I supposed to do with this? Fair enough. Would you like a coin? Hmm. Hey, how about a proper old-fashioned bribe? Hmm. I don't know. <coughs> what a fish skeleton? How about this nice comb for your mustache? What am I supposed to do with this? <coughs> well, if you put it like that. <coughs> Did it sharp? Let us in or I'll shrink your head. Is that a thing? Yes. I don't want to waste it. Okay. Can we interest you in this state-of-the-art oil can, perhaps? Is that a thing? Okay, bluff called. <laughs> uh, Teflon? <laughs> there you go, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> the amazing world of bubbles. What the hell is this? It's a pamphlet that'll make you a billionaire. It's your ticket out of here. The one chance to make it. Mom's spaghetti and all that. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Read it cover to cover. Take a seminar or two. Boom. You're in. In where? The big leagues, buddy. The big leagues. Is that a thing? Oh, it is, Stevie. I've seen it. Really? How was it? They... they should have sent a poet. Can you feel it, buddy? Feel what? The warmth. I can feel it. <coughs> what is it? It's a blanket made of money, keeping you warm on the cold winter nights. A blanket made of... Money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on in. <laughs> Nothing in there but rubble and ash, anyways. <laughs> Idiot. Once I'm a billionaire, I'll buy the police station and fire that stupid rich. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Stupid rich with his stupid wife and stupid kids. Okay. Let's go in. Let that idiot dream. Wow, he's really gullible. That's not a good quality for a police officer. Yeah, and taking a bribe is. Good point. Alright, so take the pipe. I'll just confiscate this, obviously. Uh, do I want to move the crate now? Or I'm going to wait until I need to move it. Shouldn't we, <clears throat> like, uh, what? you know, establish a perimeter? What does that even mean? Besides, do I look like a cop to you? No, you look like a homeless man. Well, bear. Is it the stubble? It's more your posture and the dusty old suit. That's the color. It's dust noir. A dusty dark, uh, color. It's just dust, Ted. <laughs> it's falling off of you. Yeah, well, this place is dusty. It's dusting up my, you're dusty. Now, <laughs> let's get to work, goddammit. I don't feel like standing inside a burned down factory at night for some reason. Okay. I wonder if the crane still works. That's a Liber original doll. Germans are sure building them to last. Okay. Looks like it survived the fire. Wonder what's inside. We can't reach it from down here. Sure wish we had that magical attic hook with us right now. Oh yeah. Whatever happened to that? It served its purpose, I guess. Wouldn't want to make things too easy now. Yeah, that's fair. <coughs> Grab the ridge. I'll just take this adjustable wrench with me. Adjustable. That's what I said. Adjustable. Ashes and rust. Sounds like. Yeah, yeah. Ash. Sounds like. All right. All I can do is move the. Uh, so okay, let's go back. <coughs> Actually, wait. Can we lower that? Yep, yeah, okay. <sighs> Just a babble. missing though. Uh, of course it is. Could I use the adjustable wrench? Maybe something less destructive? Like a pipe? Doesn't seem to work. 
<sighs> there, we got our wrench pipe. It's a mighty tool. Pipe wrench. There we go. Good as new. Use it. Seems like it's stuck. We should oil it up. That's what I use the oil for. There. Good as new. What you said earlier. <coughs> Great job, Snoop. You seem surprised. I knew you could handle it. <laughs> Get it? Can I take my ridge back? Nothing new. I guess not. Oh well. A little ridge pipe would be pretty awesome. It's down. <clears throat> All right. What's inside the bucket? Westpaw casino matches. B was right. This is a solid lead doll. So you think King's behind all of this? Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. What do you think we should do? Let's talk to Mills about this. I want to see how he'll react <laughs> when he finds out his buddy might be behind this. <laughs> Nothing new here. Alright. So... We just go to the mayor's house now? Could I really not have my pipe ridge back? Or, uh, ridge pipe? Nope, I guess not. Talk to Stevie again. <laughs> Let's not bother him. He's on his way to become the next Bubble King of Paper City. All hail the Bubble King. That's funny. Bubble King. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich and stupid rich won't be rich and go by the police station. I'm gonna go play. Oh yes, go play. Oh, jetpack for the police station. Yes. Uh, stupid rich. Uh, uh, I'll show him. I'll show everybody. <laughs> oh, time to one of those, 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 and oh, three of those, yes. Oh, so much money, so much money, so much money. Uh, stupid rich. Uh, when I'm rich, he's not going to be rich. But we'll be rich. We'll be rich. No, maybe I'll be rich, but I'll be richer than rich. Where's richer than rich? Rich, 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 rich. Who's rich, rich, rich? rich. Oh, I don't care. I'm going to be rich anyway. Uh, I'll change his name. That's right. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll have him change his name to, to not rich. Yeah. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh, now what? Buddy? Clark? Buddy? I thought I set shit on fire. Clark, where are you? Uh, you okay uh, there, buddy? Uh, Yes, this is the alternative. Buddy? You okay there, buddy? I hope Buddy's okay. Actually, wait. Oh no, Ted, what happened? I'll give you one guess. That bastard. Betty, is she? She's fine. Her shift was over hours ago. She went home. I hope so. Don't worry about her. Betty's a lot tougher than she seems. She can take care of herself. Seeing it like this breaks my heart. Why would anybody do this? Don't worry, doll. We'll get to the <coughs> bottom of this. The car seems unharmed by the fire. Which is just miraculous, really. I am not... I've always loved this view of the city. When the light gets intensified by smog, it's just breathtaking. Shell's Bay Diner, where everybody barely knows your name. Could I go... I could talk to uh, talk to B. <coughs> Anything in here that's new? Don't 
let's see what you can do. Beast out here anymore. Yeah. All right. <sighs> uh, I guess let's talk to the bear now, then. <coughs> Hello. Do you know what time it is? Who's there? Ted and Amber. It's Ted, as in Ted and Amber. We need to talk to Mills. It's urgent. Can't it wait until morning? It could, but it won't. We found some evidence that might aid in the investigation of the steel mill arson. Oh my. All right. Better come in, you two. The fountain is a bit much, though. I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, right on, man. Okay, there we go. Oh, your face is actually just an intercom. <coughs> hey there, Tin Man. How's Cowardly Lion? The scarecrow and the rest of the gang. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't follow the yellow brick road. Will you cut it out? Hi there. Sorry for barging in so late, but we have some important information about the steel mill fire. Master Mills is in his office, burning the midnight oil. Who should I say is here? Well, we represent the Lollipop Guild. Oh my god, stop it, Ted. No one even remembers that movie anymore. That's a shame. It's a good movie. My girl Judy slayed in that one. Yeah, it is a good movie. And the twist at the end, when it turns out it was all a dream. <sighs> That's good writing, you know. I'm sorry. Um, pardon me. I must announce someone. Just say it's Miss Ashworth and her dim-witted donkey Lloyd. I... Hush, Lloyd. Amber's talking to the nice man now. As you <laughs> wish, madam. Sir, Miss Ashworth's here to see you. And her donkey Lloyd. Say it. Say Lloyd's here, too. And... <sighs> her dim-witted donkey, Lloyd. <laughs> wow, that was really immature. Well, I am ten. Can we move this along? What's the holdup? Master Mills is <gasps> expecting you in his office. Okay. Hmm. Are we supposed to know where his office is, or...? My apologies, Mr. Lloyd. It's up <laughs> the stairs, to your right. Watch your step. Sure, and hey, don't worry, buddy. One day soon, you'll get your heart. I beg your pardon, sir. <coughs> Just ignore him. <clears throat> okay. Can I look at the stickers? Vote for Mayor Mills stickers. <coughs> Can I take him? <coughs> He's a pig. Are we political activists now? Don't be silly. I just like stickers. This nice art deco piece really ties the room together. Does it? Slick and elegant sculptures by Pigelangelo. Pigelangelo. That's funny. A pigrigé vase, the most luxurious of home decors. <coughs> Slick and Pigelangelo. Beautiful and not even plastic. I prefer the plastic ones, to be honest. Yeah, me too. Easier to keep. <laughs> All right. I think I've looked at everything in here. It's Mills Butler, Mr. Herbert. Can I talk to you again? The office is up the stairs, to the right. Still? Indeed. Yes, quite. Ta-ta. <laughs> okay, up I go. <coughs> You have no eyes. Hi, Daniel. Long time no see. How have you been, you old so-and-so? Well, if it isn't my favorite detective duo, how are you guys? Can't complain. I mean, I could, but who'd listen? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got old Bear. 
we sure did. Ah, if I could go back now and life was simpler. Enjoy your youth while you can, girlie. <laughs> One day soon, you'll wake up and you'll need two butlers just to get out of bed. Yeah, and my butlers are always giving me the lip. Plus, I think they're stealing my silverware. Ah, indeed. Good help is hard <laughs> to find these days. You mean with all the fires and whatnot? Hmm? Ah, yes. You heard about that. These are terrible times, Bear. It's a shame you've retired. We sure could use your level of expertise. So I've been told. Well, I'm here now. And so you are. How on earth did you guys enter the city? I mean, with a lockdown already in full effect. <sighs> we used the East Tunnel's maintenance shaft, but the thing collapsed behind us. It's closed off completely now. Maintenance shaft? <laughs> That's clever. Well, I wouldn't expect anything <coughs> less from you two. Yeah, whatever the case, I'm glad you're here, Ted. I'm sure you two already heard about the Red Man. We did. Yeah. He's the reason we're here. I came to stop him. He's a maniac, Ted. And I fear he's after me, personally. You? What makes you think that? My meal, Ted. It was one of the first things to go down since he appeared. It was a clear message. Now, whenever I look out that window, I see rubble, Ted. We had a chance to snoop around the mill for a while. How sure are you that Red did this? <coughs> what do you mean? Who else? Is this a statue of you? Uh, <laughs> well, yes. Federico Champagne himself made it for me when I was elected the Shit. mayor. Just, uh, be careful, girl. What do you mean, Ted? Who else would have done it? Ever since that monster showed up, there have been new fires every day. He'll burn her to the ground, Ted. Our beautiful city. Not the description I would use, but sure. What evidence? I found some things the police apparently overlooked. Both lead to the infamous casino owner. King? I don't believe it. King and I... Yeah, your buddies. No need to hide from me, Daniel. I'm here to help you. I wouldn't call us buddies. We socialize. What evidence do you have of this? We found the matches used to start the fire. They belong to the Westpaw Club and Casino. D Ted, these are serious allegations. If I'm to move against King, I have to have some hard-pressed facts. Wow, this is a big key. Is it for some huge house? It's the key to the city. That's, um... That, uh. That's the key to the city, girl. <laughs> Actually, Ted here was one of the few to receive it. He didn't show up to the ceremony? No, he did, but he was, well... Sleepy that day. He was <coughs> drunk, wasn't he? Can we move this along? We have a long night in front of us. We'll stop by King's Casino tonight. If I can get into his lounge, I'll go and ask him some questions. Where is your key, Ted? I gave it away to Charity. Doll, please, let us talk. Ted, be smart about this. You think King will just play along? I don't care anymore, Daniel. I'm here to finish this. If that means I have to dive headfirst in the shark tank, then so be it. King was left to his own devices for too long. And now he's brought this disaster to our city. It's time to put an end to his reign. God damn it, son. You're right. Is there anything I can do to help? You can get us into the casino for starters. We'll take it from there. I'll snoop around and see if I can find some evidence that'll help our case. What I'm saying is I found some things at the mill that would suggest someone wanted to make it look like Red did it to cover his tracks. Whoa, 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 wait. You think King was the one that brought Red to Paper City? I don't know yet. It's what I suspect. Hmm. Could this have something to do with the elections? Well, that's a motive if I ever saw one. All right, Ted. You're in luck, actually. I'm really not. No. <laughs> I mean, there's a gala at the casino tonight. Some fundraiser <laughs> King's throwing. For underprivileged rich snobs? I don't know. I want to say owls. Doesn't matter. All right, we'll go and try to get in. Ted, if you do manage to get in, don't let King get the upper hand. He won't hesitate. <gasps> to kill us? <laughs> oh, my God! God damn it. Yeah, birth. I'm sorry, I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> Anyways, you go, Daniel. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Sure thing, Tim. Just want your back out there. Huh. Thanks. Will do. Bye, Mr. Mills. Wait, I can't look around the office? It's me. They're on the way. Oh, fuck you. Wait, we need to go back. We didn't ask him about Flint. Stay. I didn't ask him anything, because I don't really trust him. He was acting a bit strange tonight. It could have something to do with the Red Man, like he said. But something feels off. Like what? I don't know yet. 
but I intend to find out. Let's just head to the casino for now. We'll deal with Mills later. Okay. <sighs> I'm afraid Mr. Mills doesn't want to be bothered anymore. You can leave a message, and I'll make sure he gets it first thing in the morning. No, it's fine. Thank you, Mr. Butler. Well, have a good night, Mr. Lloyd. Thanks. You too. Oh, uh. and good luck getting that message from the princess to Obi-Wan. Not bad. Not bad. That was gold. It was kind of obvious. I've come to expect more from you. I fear we'll hit the point of diminishing returns on the cleverness at some point. True. Can I say anything else to you? The office is up the still? Yes. Okay. Well. Outside we go. <coughs> Um, uh, you know, I think this is a great place to end this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Literally, that's how to go.